Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine Blueprints video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss what is Blueprint in Unreal Engine. Blueprint is a visual scripting system meant to implement gameplay logic visually. What is Blueprint? Blueprint is a visual scripting system inside Unreal Engine. It is meant to implement gameplay logic visually guys. For example, we add behaviors to characters, we handle inputs, we manage scores, lives, we control lights, camera, audio, everything visually in this visual scripting system guys. Blueprint is a node based system. Instead of typing the code, we create network of nodes by connecting set of nodes together in such a manner that it performs one or other gameplay task. Blueprint is actually a node based system guys. Here we don't type any code. Instead of typing the code, we create network of nodes. We connect set of nodes together in such a manner that it performs one or other gameplay task. For example, this network of nodes rotates the given cube around Z axis 5 degrees per frame. This network of nodes rotates the given cube around Z axis 5 degrees per frame guys. Even tick node executes anything is connected to it depending upon the gameplay frame rate. For example, if game is running at 10 frames per second, 10 frames per second, then even tick executes anything is connected to it 10 times in a second guys. If game is running at 50 frames per second, 50 frames per second, then even tick executes anything is connected to it 50 times in a second guys. Let's have a demo and understand. I minimize the word document. I double click on Unreal Engine shortcut available at the desktop. You can see that Unreal project browser window got open. Here I select games. Then I select the project template blank because I want to create a clean empty project guys. Under project defaults, blueprint is selected, target, platform, desktop, graphics quality, maximum, starter content is untick, ray tracing is also untick and the project location I have selected here desktop you can see that and the project name I have given my project, I click on create button guys. So that creates a project. You can see that my project is open at present and it has opened one untitled level. Let me create one new level. I go to file menu, say new level and then I select here basic template, click on create. You can see that the level is created. Now I am going to save this level. I go to file, say save current level as. In the content folder, I create one more folder, new folder called as levels and then I give here the level name as level 1 and then I say save. You can see that the level is saved with the name level 1. Then I go to create button here, shapes, I drag a cube inside. You can see that the cube is placed. Next, I move it cube little bit up and then I go to details panel here. I set the mobility to movable so that we can move this cube guys. At present you don't worry guys about how to create project, how to create level and save level etc. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss what are unreal projects, how do we create project, how do we create levels, everything step by step we discuss the user interface, everything guys. So at present you need not to worry. Here we are interested in learning how to rotate this cube around Z axis 5 degrees per frame using the blueprint, the node based system visually, right? Okay, now I am going to open the level blueprint guys. Here we have the blueprints drop down. I say open level blueprint. You can see that level blueprint got open. I drag it and place it here. This is the level editor and this is the level blueprint guys. And you can see in the level blueprint, we have event begin play node. I delete it because we are not going to use it. We have event tick node here. Now, as I want to rotate this cube around Z axis 5 degrees per frame, I should be able to get the reference of this cube inside the blueprint guys. So how do we get the reference to this cube in the blueprint? All you need is select the cube first, then right click in the level blueprint and say create a reference to cube. I click on it. We can see that we got a node here. 
so this is the reference to this cube guys okay now i got the reference to that cube next i drag a wire from this pin and i search for add actor local rotation it is going to create one node you can see add actor local rotation and then i connect these execution pins here next i give the z value 5 what this network of node does it rotates the given cube around z axis 5 degrees per frame i am going to compile and save it i go to level 1 level editor if i click on the play button you see that the cube is rotating 5 degrees per frame around z axis i stop playing go back to the level 1 blueprint here this is the level blueprint if i say for example here 20 now it rotates the cube 20 degrees per frame compile and save go here and click on the play button you see now it is rotating more faster i stop it i go back so if you want you can rotate around x axis y axis z axis if you want you can move the cube whatever you want you can do and you can see that we are not typing any code here right we are not typing anything all we are doing is we are connecting set of nodes together in such a manner that it performs one or other gameplay task and everything we are doing visually guys i hope you guys have clearly understood what is blueprint remember blueprint is a visual scripting system meant to implement gameplay logic visually blueprint is a node based system instead of typing the code we create network of nodes by connecting set of nodes together in such a manner that it performs one or other gameplay task that's it guys for this video tutorial i suggest you people to try whatever i explain in this video tutorial and experiment more if you experiment you get more knowledge in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about blueprints if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial